Okay, guys, so uh, I've been meaning to talk about this for a while, but I thought now's probably the right time. Um, because, I mean, and what I mean is I've been ta meaning to talk about um, the, the, the touchy issue of whitewashing for a while. Um, and I've never gotten around to it, but I think now is a good time since, you know, I've been posting all this news about Spider-Man, Homecoming, and everything since they announced that, uh, of course, Tom Holland was going to play the role. Actually, ever since they announced Spider-Man was going to be at Marvel, um, you know, you can go to last year. I had all these videos about, uh, you know, when they announced it and my ideas on what they can do and what they should do, how they should do that or that, or how they can incorporate or incorporate Sinister Six and my thoughts on Andrew Garfield being fired and my thoughts on them hiring Marissa Tomei and, uh, of course, Tom Holland. Well, <clears throat> obviously, uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, I'm a little surprised it hasn't started filming yet, but who knows. Um, but apparently, um, this kid, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but this guy named Michael Barberi, I think that's how you pronounce his name, he's been cast in the movie, and they haven't said who he's playing, but the internet basically went on fire uh, because this one site came out saying he was going to be playing Gank Lee um, from uh, the Ultimate Comics. And for those of you who don't know, Gank Lee is the best friend of Miles Morales, except Tom Holland isn't playing Miles Morales, he's playing Peter Parker. Yeah, kind of gets a little bit, yeah. But this is only one source saying it. So, first of all, let me talk. And obviously, this he's an Asian character, so everybody's like, "Oh, they're these Asian actors aren't getting enough credit, or they're not getting enough opportunities." Well, first of all, people, calm down. This is not confirmed. This is one source saying uh, saying this. Um, Marvel has no official confirmation, unless it's either confirmation from Marvel or confirmation from a source that's 99.9% .9 of the time right, like Variety or something like that, um, then it's, it, it's really up in the air. Um, but yeah, and now sometimes rumors from the internet can be true, um, like there was a rumor on the internet from a so-so source that said uh, Adrian Toon, well, not Adrian, they didn't say who he was going to play, but there was a so-so source on the internet that said that um, Michael Keaton was going to be in Spider-Man Homecoming. That turned out to be true. There was also some so-so sources that said that Asa Butterfield was going to be replacing Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. That did not happen. Uh, so, calm down. Now, my personal... Thoughts on whitewashing as a whole. This is not the first controversy Marvel has faced uh, in terms of whitewashing. The last, um, first of all, one really big thing um, which I should address is what happened earlier with um, a film coming out this year called Doctor Strange, obviously. Uh, they cast Tilda Swinton as the Ancient One. Now, I'm a big Doctor Strange fan. I've read the comics for years, um, and I've read the classic comics, and they're great, um, but the thing is, the Ancient One, and this was the 1960s, and I'm kind of, I kind of see why they, they didn't get an Asian guy to play the Ancient One, and I know everybody's complaining about it, including George Takai, but the thing you've got to consider is, the Ancient One was kind of, well, you see, how do I explain this, in the 60s, there was this, uh, the stereotype that basically any Asian, fictional Asian character was written to be this ancient old bearded guy who was typically maybe bald or had short white hair and could summon dragons and new kung fu or some sort of martial arts type of thing. And it was kind of a racial stereotype. And, um... Oh, and they knew magic, and they were supposed to be, like, the mentor of the story. And it was very often you'd see Asian characters uh, in all types of media like that. Um, and it is a bit of a racial stereotype, and 
uh, the Ancient One was kind of one of those characters. Um, so for that reason, I can see why they changed the Ancient One. As for Michael Barberi, um, and, and here's another thing. Like, obviously, I think the most recent really big whitewashing case was with um, Scarlett Johansson in Ghost in the Shell. But the thing is, Ghost in the Shell um, is not a very recognizable franchise. Now, that could change if the movie is a success. But the thing is... Uh, at the moment, it's not that type of thing. I mean, if you're an anime fan, if you're a diehard anime fan, maybe you know about Ghost in the Shell. But the fact of the matter is, the general public does not go, does not really know about Ghost in the Shell. Like, if you went outside and you went up to a random person and said, "Hey, hey guys, hey guys, have you ever heard of Spider-Man?" They recognize it. But if you went out and you said, "Hey, hey guys, you ever heard of Ghost in the Shell?" Uh, they may or may not know what Ghost in the Shell is. If they're into anime, they'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that. But if they're not into anime, they might be like, wait, what's that? Um, and so I think because of that, what's going to draw people in isn't going to be the fact that it's a movie about Ghost. It's the fact that it's an anime movie or an adaption of Ghost in the Shell. No, the thing that's going to make the movie money is... A recognizable actor and if somebody if a general audience if somebody who's never heard of Ghost in the Shell before who might be let's say a die-hard Scarlett Johansson fan because let's face it Scarlett Johansson is a pretty well-known actress if somebody like that uh, sees Scarlett Johansson sees that she's gonna be in this new movie Ghost in the Shell they're gonna say oh well I really like Scarlett Johansson I really like the movies she's in I think I'm gonna go see this movie because I like Scarlett Johansson not because they're diehard fans of uh, Ghost in the Shell I mean I I wouldn't be surprised if one percent of the population is going to see Ghost in the Shell just because they're big diehard fans of the anime. So I think with that, it was that they had to get, you know, a recognizable uh, Asian, uh, well, not an Asian actress, but they had to get a recognizable actress, like a household name, like Scarlett Johansson, to try and get, pull people into the theater. Um, with this, with um, Michael Barberi as Sp in Spider-Man Homecoming, uh, the thing is, um, and... and Obviously, there have been ridiculous things that people have claimed, and most of the time when people say, oh, that's whitewashing, it's pretty ridiculous, like the, the stuff I mentioned, and also with uh, Rita and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, because first of all, they already have plenty of Asian actors in the movie, but they already have a character who's typically not Asian in the cart in the original show who is going to be Asian in the movie who's playing one of the lead roles so you can't say that they're not giving Asian actors um you know uh in that movie uh not giving them an opportunity you can't say that um and then also Rita Repulsa in the cartoon or in the, in, the, not in the cartoon in the show number one uh was played by the only reason she was first played by an Asian actress is because it was adapted from Japanese uh, from Japanese footage, and also the actress who played Rita Repulsa for the longest time was a white actress, um, and also Rita Repulsa, the character, uh, is not from Asia. The character is from space. It the character is an alien, um, but um, in terms of this case uh, with Michael Barberi. Um, now, again, calm down, guys, because they have not confirmed whether he's gank, uh, but if he is gankly, uh, okay, I can see in this case, I can very much see what you guys are upset about, um, because personally, um, I believe, um, that they should save him for Miles, because the reason why everybody likes gank, the reason why he's such a great character, is because he's best friends with Miles, um, and, you know, he and Miles work really well together. It, that dynamic just doesn't work with a character like Peter. Um, and also, I don't think, like, with Scarlett Johansson, um, you know, Ghost in the Shell, and this, I think this is the case with a lot of movies, that quote-unquote whitewash, um, you know, the fact of the matter is, you need household names uh, to bring in people 
to bring people into the theater if it's not a well-known franchise. But Spider-Man is a pretty well-known franchise. Um, so I do think that um, if... Um, if this is the case, um, and he is playing Gank Lee, uh, I do think there is reason to complain because, I mean, there's no reason not to cast him, you know, Asian. And also because, obviously, there's the, uh, the fact that, um, he's not friends with Peter, like, there's no reason to have Gank Lee. Um, now... I think Armin from the comic book cast said this best, that if it is a character that's not Gankly, but is just named Gank, and is sort of there to pay homage to the character, that, that should be fine. But again, uh, if it is the character himself, it's just unnecessary. But those are my thoughts on the cast. Uh, let me, the casting, sorry. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'm out.